Today's vlog begins as we flew from Phnom Penh, Cambodia to Saigon, Vietnam, where unfortunately I was sick as a dog, but little did I know that Jeff had made a secret plan to fly my best friend Blaine, who apparently has swallow. never been on video Ooh, before. Hey. She doesn't know that. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. We're oh, just, okay. Just... <laughs> no one's getting sick here, okay? <laughs> In from the Hi. United States to celebrate my 30th birthday and backpack all of Vietnam. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. Um, <laughs> so cue birthday shenanigans. Just gotta want it. Hey, Bree's not drunk at all. <laughs> Good morning from the beautiful city of Hoi An, Vietnam. We arrived here yesterday after a quick flight from Nha Trang, Vietnam and we are doing something very exciting today. We are gonna go and get custom clothing made, which is something that I have wanted to do ever since I learned you could do this in Vietnam. So if you ever watched the Top Gear episodes on the BBC, you probably watched the Top Gear Vietnam special where Jeremy Clarkson and crew go to Hoi An and they go to a custom tailor and get fancy suits made. Love your work! Is that a smoking jacket? Is that a mod cut? And this is what we're gonna do today. We are so excited. We we even had a budget put aside from the very beginning of this trip and we're gonna go and get some pretty snazzy stuff. The Top Gear guys aren't alone in getting custom clothing made in Vietnam. In fact, thousands of tourists visit the UNESCO World Heritage Site each year to create custom garments. With Hoi An being only a couple miles away from the world famous Silk Route, the City of Lanterns had become well known for their tailoring ability since the 15th century. With over 500 tailors conducting business there today, tourists have a lot of options to choose from. As a side note, I don't think Blaine was expecting to do this when he arrived on this trip with us, but we somehow talked him into definitely getting at least one suit and maybe some shoes. That is correct. Looking forward to spending a decent amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> So Jeff has actually done this before where he came to Hoi An and had a suit made, but it was many, many years ago. And I think he just got a plain blue suit, but he loved it so much that he still actually wears it to this day when he can, when we go out. But now he's trying to get more of a bougie looking sports commentator-esque smoking jacket. So I'm really curious to see what he's actually gonna come up with. So there are over 500 tailors in this tiny, tiny old town and it's hard to determine which one you want to go to. So like any good traveler or researcher, we decided to go based off of Google and TripAdvisor reviews. Now you can also go based off of notoriety if you want to do something like Yali, which was made famous by Top Gear, that's where they went. However, always check the recent reviews because obviously those places are only going to show like the highest rated first ones. Oh, I'm just curious, how much is this? We are one baggers, but because we're buying so many clothes, we're going to have to buy a checked bag to give to Blake to take all our uh, dress clothes that we're gonna get made and take them home for us. So we went and checked out two different tailors that had really good reviews on Google but unfortunately the staff were a bit uh, aggressive to the point where we felt like we were being harassed a little bit so we decided to actually come and step over to Yali's, the famous tailor in Hoi An, just to check it out and already we're off to a little bit better of a start so we're gonna start to look through catalogs which is key when you're yeah. looking at purchasing items. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So they give us these really cool little iPad things so that we can scroll through and see all of the options before we pick them and then they take you upstairs to pick out the material.
you. All right, see you at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, so we just finished up. I think in total, we were all pretty shocked at how cheap it was considering we went to Yali, which is the most expensive one, or at least it's notoriously the most expensive one. We all paid significantly under budget what we were expecting to pay. I think I got nine items, Blaine got four or five, and then Jeff got the most fancy smoking jacket I have probably ever laid my eyes on. So we are stoked. In addition to our fancy suits and jackets, the boys have opted to go to somebody who works with leather and get some custom boots made. So I think they're both gonna get red Chelsea boots. So it's a long day of um, clothes shopping done. We couldn't resist, you got one more thing. $25. $25. We're gonna go head back to the hotel and relax for a little bit and unwind before dinner. We'll give you updates tomorrow with our fittings. They start at 4 p.m. the gray one, it's the gray. All right, I guess I did forget one thing. We just found for $25 a luggage store. So he bought us a big suitcase that Blaine has so graciously uh, accepted to take them home for us and store them at his place until we're ready to be done. We're hopeful that the zippers will not break. Now, I'm sure you noticed that there are wheels on it, but the reason we're not rolling it is because we don't trust the wheels to last more than one trip, which we're going to save for Blaine, uh, walking around the airport. All right, we're on our way back to Yali right now because it's time for adjustments. We need to make sure everything fits properly and it'll also give us the first to get our clothes. So we're all really excited. Although I could say that we're also still pretty nervous because we're not sure, you know, or I guess we're just anxious to see if everything turned out the way we kind of expect it to look. Fingers crossed. So we're on our way to our fitting. Blaine's just stopping in a leather shop to see about some gloves and we're all really anxious because we hope everything turned out exactly how we want it to. We do read some horror stories about, you know, some like clothes falling apart. So we're gonna be super thorough or as thorough as we can be with our basically limited to no knowledge of uh, tailoring. But I'm and most- fashion. And fashion. <laughs> I'm so excited for my smoking jacket though. As long as it doesn't fall apart, I'm gonna be pumped. Oh, I'm exhausted, but still one more thing to do. Shoe time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. So we've run into a bit of an issue. I look a little sweaty because I've just spent the last 30 minutes taking everything out of the bags that our tailors gave us our clothes in and trying to organize them in the checked luggage that we bought for Blaine because we bought way too small of a bag or maybe more appropriately, we bought way too many clothes. This is our life right now. Everyone's a little stressed. We don't have any of Blaine's clothes yet. They haven't been delivered. Anyway, on a happier note, once we get this to the next town somehow, we'll try on all the clothes and then we'll show you what we got. So we arrived in Hue a couple days ago and realized that our hotel room was a bit too small to show you the clothing. And right now we're in Ninbin, so we decided to wait to do it here because we have excellent lighting and plenty of room in this gigantic hotel room. So we are going to show you the clothes that we got in Hoi An. So fashion show incoming. <laughs>
So that was absolutely exhausting. I have, I think, three more items, two pairs of shorts and a shirt, well, a blouse, and am I going to put them on? No, because it's exhausting and it's really hot in here with the three of us. But we all did our part. In addition to the clothing items that we had made, we also got three pairs of shoes all done by a leather worker. Mine are fake knockoff Chanel, but they are made with real leather. Their slip-ons are super cute. I would do it again, they were about 60 bucks. Blaine got a pair of white leather shoes as well as reddish leather shoes. And then Jeff got a matching pair and they both got matching belts to their leather shoes. So overall, I think the experience is really positive with Yali. Um, the only thing I will say for people going to Hoi An is don't be afraid to shop around. We paid a premium for going to Yali because it's definitely the more famous tailor. But if you see like a type of jumpsuit in my case, or I don't know, a dress, maybe a gown, maybe another suit, in a different type of fabric that you don't see at Yali's. Don't be afraid to divide and conquer. For my jumpsuit here, I decided to go to a smaller tailor and it was only 25 bucks. And I went there because I didn't see that they could perform that type of tailoring at Yali's without it being a little cheap looking. I don't want that to sound mean or anything, but I just didn't see that they had that on display and I didn't feel comfortable asking for it because I couldn't see that the work would be done. So don't be afraid to go somewhere else if you want it. And especially for smoking jackets, Jeff loves his smoking jacket. I do too, I think it's so pretty, but he didn't really see a ton of flare fabric, if you will. It was more kind of straightforward stuff and he wanted something that would really pop. So I had a great experience shopping at Yali's. Um, the only thing I would say I would adjust is maybe taking some more time looking at the materials, particularly with my peak coats. I was quite satisfied with the black coat, um, but the gray coat, I felt like I could have got a better quality material. Um, I guess I would recommend shopping around a little bit more and seeing what other materials there are. Overall, I would say that I'm pretty content with everything that I purchased. Uh, maybe would have looked at a few more leather shops, but that's about it. All right, so I would consider myself the veteran of the group because I've been to Hoi An before and I got my first suit done by Kimmy's Tailors. Now, the reason we didn't go with Kimmy's this time is because they actually had a pretty terrible rating on Google reviews. And out of all of the tailors, I mean, there's just one after the other in Hoi An. We were like, it's just not worth it to go to a place that's under four stars. So we looked up a few different places, all five stars, but we ended up going with Yali's just because of their reputation. I mean, they've been around since day one. They were made famous in Top Gear and I just kind of wanted to see what they had to offer and if they were worth that extra price premium because you definitely do pay somewhere between like 50 to 100 more per suit. I really like the suit I got done there, full disclosure. Um, I wish the fabric had been a pure wool because pure wool is supposed to be a little more durable. Also in general, I don't like to go above 120 thread count in my suit. This one is a wool cashmere blend though, and it's at about 170 threads. So I'm just worried about the durability, but it, it does feel nice. It's very soft and I think it drapes well, but absolutely don't feel the need to purchase at the first store you go into. I completely agree with Brian Blaine. You should shop around. I mean, there are so many different tailors and it's worth going to the tailor that has the fabric you need. They all probably honestly take it to the same place to get sewn up anyway, let's be real. You know, really what you're paying for is kind of the customer service. And we wanted to go to a place that didn't really bully us too much. And at Yali, they really kind of let us look around and get a feel for the different fabrics without being pestered constantly. We went into a few other stores, which I won't name, and we did have salespeople constantly behind us telling us to try stuff on or to come further into the store and sit down and look at books, which is fine. I totally get, you know, this is their livelihood and this is how they make their living but it just wasn't really for us. You know, we like to look around, take our time viewing the fabrics and then talk to them and say, hey, how much would it cost to make this a suit? That, however, I totally get is mostly a cultural thing. So if you feel comfortable with high pressure tactics, maybe you would like some of the other stores that you can find. So overall, for my experience, I think I would rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Things to consider, the quality of my linen suit wasn't quite what I thought it would be. I almost think buying one off the rack would be a little bit better, but overall the stuff was really nice. Um, the sales person, her name was Nina, she was fantastic. And I think they really sat and listened to what I wanted and I was able to get all of it under my budget, which was $1,000. So overall my rating out of 10, I would say probably eight out of 10. I had a different experience when I went to Kimmy's back in 2013. The suit just felt a little bit better 
but it also was a pure wool suit. As I mentioned previously, this one is a uh, wool cashmere blend. So I'm sure the fabric just feels differently and drapes a little bit differently. That being said, my sales lady was amazing. Her name was Natasha. Um, however, she actually wasn't there on my last day of fitting. So I got a new person. However, the switchover didn't bother me as both were excellent and paid attention to the criticisms I had about maybe the cuts and the drapes. Also, they didn't give me surgeon cuffs, which is where the cuffs can fold back. So last minute, I requested if they could do it, because that's really, in my opinion, one of the best reasons to get a custom-made suit is to have those kind of ridiculous um, features added. And they were able to do it for me on about six hours notice. So overall, my experience, I would rate an eight out of 10. I was pretty pleased with the quality of the material, but not the look per se. Still, I, I'm pretty content with how things came out, but you're most likely to get exactly what you want if you purchase that item online or from a store that you like. So hope you enjoyed this video. If anybody out there is planning to go to Hawaii Ann, please drop a comment below. Let us know what you want to get made. And I would love to see pictures. So if you want to send them to us on Instagram, we are at one bag, one world travel. I really want to see what you get and how much you get it for.